It's an interesting situation. I had you sitting with a medium pocket pair. Nines wired, perhaps, which would give you a set. You have me figured for a straight draw. Now, the question is, am I four or a flush two? Now, with the pot this size, I'll call you no matter what you raise. The prudent thing would be to just call, protect your chips, so you can play again another day. <laughs> no prudence. The question is, you talking because you got the diamonds, or are you talking because you don't? You and I both know what the book says you should do, kid. Is that what you do now? Just play by the book? You might as well play online. Raise. I'm all in. You sure? Now, you can pull it back if you want. <laughs> I'd bet more if I had it. You would? Yeah. I'd gladly let you throw in that charm of yours, that wedding ring you're fond of carrying. Although, I notice you don't have it with you. You're right, I don't. But I'll put up the pawn ticket that redeems it against that wristwatch you're wearing. Yeah? Okay, may I? Buck and a half? You must have been up against it, kid. I know that ring's worth a lot more than that to you. And my watch is worth a lot more than that to me. My father's 1938 Boulevard. He wore it through the war. But I'll take that bet. Anybody mind? Are you kidding? Come on. This is between you two. But we're happy to watch. <laughs> so insane. <laughs> covered. Possible flush. Open in a straight draw. How are you fixed? Pocket nines. Imagine that. <laughs> Let's see the river. Flush the window. Oh. <laughs> Too bad, Huckleberry. Sometimes it pays to be prudent. 